Yet another type of nitrogen phosphorus containing fertilizer is diammonium phosphate. And this, this product is highly attractive as well for application to soils that require both nitrogen and phosphorus. It's also a solid and it's also created very similarly or in a similar fashion as mono, uh, monoammonium phosphate. It's reacting phosphoric acid with ammonia gas to form diammonium phosphate. Now, when we place this product in a soil, the pH can become basic around the prill. And how do we know this? Look at the form of phosphorus in this material or in this fertilizer. It's HPO4, unlike monoammonium phosphate, which was H2PO4. This contains HPO4. And if you recall from the fraction of total orthophosphate present as a function of pH, that HPO4 is the yellow curve and it maxes out, actually on this figure, it maxes out probably close to 10, but it, it starts to curve off around eight and a half, give or take. So we know when we place this fertilizer in a soil, there is the likelihood of increasing pH around the prill or fertilizer particle. And because the pH around the fertilizer prill is above seven, this greatly enhances the potential for ammonia volatilization. So when we recommend using this type of fertilizer, the application with a seed needs to be relatively limited or low. And oftentimes we say 10 to 20 pounds um, on a nitrogen basis per acre because of volatilization and the potential damage to seeds or new seedlings. Now this product is it says the most widely used form of phosphorus fertilizer in the world, and that's likely correct. And um, it's just, it actually is a very nice fertilizer to use. I'll just leave it at that.